Hi, I am here today to answer two simple questions. What is PCI Express and why should you use it to connect a camera to your computer? Let's start with the basics. PCI Express is a high performance general purpose I.O. interconnect supported by many devices. PCI Express is used in virtually all modern desktop PCs and workstations to connect devices like graphics cards or fast SSDs. For example, on this motherboard, there are several different PCI Express slots. As you can see, the slots differ in length and according to the number of lanes they provide. Each PCI Express lane offers a certain bandwidth, so aggregating multiple lanes increases the total bandwidth of the PCI Express link. On this motherboard, there are several small one-lane slots that could be used for devices with relatively low bandwidth requirements, like for example, this USB expansion card. There is also one 16-lane slot here that is intended for devices with higher bandwidth requirements. It is typically used for graphics cards. These other two slots here look like 16-lane slots, but they actually only provide 8 lanes. If you put a 16-lane device into one of these slots, uh, it will work, but with a lower bandwidth. The other way around also works. You can put a one-lane card into a 16-lane slot and it will work just fine. Apart from these standard PCIe slots, there is also an M.2 slot on this board which provides four lanes and is typically used for fast SSDs. There is a wide variety of other connectors for different use cases and we will have a closer look at the ones that are relevant for Xymia cameras. But they all transmit basically the same PCI Express signals. Some of the uh, PCI Express slots on this motherboard are directly connected to the CPU socket, while others are connected to the chipset. In many cases, the chipset slots share bandwidth with a lot of other devices like SATA or USB controllers. So for the best performance, it's usually better to use the slots that are directly connected to the CPU. Once a PCI Express device is connected to the CPU, it can use direct memory access to directly access the main memory for this, it does not need to involve the CPU cores at all. It just reads or writes directly to the memory without affecting the performance of whatever you're doing on the CPU cores. So that is PCI Express. But what does that have to do with cameras? You can't just put a camera in a PCI Express slot. But what would it do there? Film the inside of your PC? Not very useful unless maybe when you have a ton of fancy RGB lighting that you really want to show the world. So, what you need is a way to extend these PCI Express slots to be able to connect a camera at some distance. For this, you will need a cable, like this one, and an adapter, like this one. All this adapter does is connecting four PCI Express lanes from the slot to a cable that also has four lanes. There is no additional logic on it. From the software perspective, it looks completely transparent and does not need any drivers. As you can see, this is different from a frame grabber that you would see in other camera interfaces. Frame grabbers are also plugged into PCI Express slots, but then they are using some more complex logic to provide other camera interfaces. So by using PCI Express directly, we can just avoid this whole complexity. So all we have to do now is grab a camera and connect it to the other end of the cable. Now the camera is directly connected to the PCI Express system of the computer and could use direct memory access to write its image data directly to the main memory. But what if you need these image data actually somewhere else? For example, when, when you have a powerful GPU that you want to use for some image processing or probably for some AI application. In that case, there is one more really useful feature PCI Express offers. Actually, P PCI Express devices can talk directly to each other. So for the case of the GPU, we actually have a feature that comes from NVIDIA that's called GPU Direct that allows us to stream data directly from the camera to the GPU memory and then you can access it from CUDA um, directly. If that sounds interesting to you, the next step is to choose the right camera and cables for your application. We have a variety of cameras with PCI Express available. I'm not going to show you every single model here, but as a general overview, we have three different families of PCI Express cameras. The XIB cameras using four lanes and these longer iPass cables for external PCI Express. 
The bandwidth on these cameras is already quite a bit higher than for example on USB 3 cameras and they can be used for many different applications. In fact, we are shooting this video right now on a XIB camera. The XIB 64 is very similar but with 8 lanes and therefore much higher bandwidth. They are ideal for more demanding applications with high resolutions and high frame rates. And then there's the XIX cameras with flat ribbon connectors meant for tighter integration. They come in two varieties, one with four lanes, very similar to the XIB cameras you already saw, and one with two lanes, the small one here, ideal for multi-camera systems. There is a lot more to say about PCI Express. I have intentionally left out some of the technical details and numbers here. Check out our website, linked in the description below for more details. In the next video I'm going to talk about multi-camera systems using PCI Express switches. If you don't want to miss that, just hit the su subscribe button. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you liked it, and I will see you next time.